This guy been making a lot of noise lately, man. The Paul what? Brothers, man, before he starts talking. My last name is Paul. I do YouTube. Um, people are asking me who you're gonna root for if they, this fight ever happened. First of all, I don't think they're gonna fight. It would be funny, and I feel like it would be like big just cause Mayweather and McGregor. It's like the smartest, stupidest decision somebody ever made. It's smart because it's making a lot of noise, everybody talking about it, and even if they lose, they're gonna make a lot of money. You feel me? But it's stupid because these two people that you fought, they don't know how to box either. So, for you to go after Mayweather and Connor, you trying to die. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, you will go to sleep for a couple of days, for a couple of weeks. Look, I don't know what goes behind the scene. I don't know. I just watch what I see. And a lot of time, you know, it's entertainment. You feel me? But all I'm saying is, you're not a professional boxer. You're not a professional UFC fighter. Go after somebody lower. And I don't meet Nate Diaz, bro. Just because you knock one Nate out, don't think you can knock another. And not any other Nate. You talk about Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is like another McGregor. Nate Diaz is just as good, or if not, better than McGregor. Okay, I'm tripping. I don't think he's better than McGregor, but I think he's up there. So, and he, he went into fight Jake Paul for free. Just because they're talking too much shit, you know, but um. What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Come on. Hey, it's boxing. People talk shit. Fuck it. And Conor McGregor, I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. Okay, the first part, he said he's beating up older dudes. He's talking about the video that Conor be talking shit. He be talking a lot of shit, and I heard he did something at a bar where he hit this older guy. He's, he's just talking shit. Oh, by the way, on top of that, Jake Paul is following Conor's wife on Instagram. He's following somebody else, but Instagram does this thing where it makes you follow somebody and you can't unfollow them. So you go to your page and you're trying to follow them and you can't find that person. It just makes you follow somebody random. I don't know if that's what's going on with him, but he's following Conor McGregor's wife. You feel me? That's disrespectful. He's trying, he's asking for it. He's asking for it. Man, look, Conor's wife is not a four. You feel me? I, I, I'll give her a seven. You know, now I'm assuming it's just, he's going based on the looks and it's not always about just the looks. You feel me? She's, she's been there since day one. And you don't know what she did for Connor. You don't know what she's been through with Connor. You feel me? But I give her a seven. That's just me going based on her looks. So the extra three points, I feel like she probably earned that three points. So she's a 10 in Connor's eyes. And if we knew her and if we knew all the things she went through with Connor, she probably is a 10 in everybody's eyes. Again, it's not all about the looks, you know. But hey, he's trash talking. He's trash talking. On top of that, he's following Connor's wife on Instagram. <laughs> Anything to get Connor's attention. Because Connor like talking shit. He might respond. Just cause, kinda look like he's crazy. I don't mean like, just cause he fights. I feel like he's literally crazy. Just, just going based on the guy's face. You know? So, he might respond just to talk shit, but I don't think he's gonna fight him. Anyways, I don't really like involving family. Connor tried that with Khabib and it didn't work out so well. And now you're doing it with Connor. So, I guess, you feel me? Connor can't really say anything because he did the same thing with Khabib. But then again, you, you bringing up his wife, you following his wife, you don't know what they went through. But I don't know. I was born in the mid 90s. I know. I'm an old motherfucker. If you bring somebody's mother up, you could die. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they still, you know, care about it as much because a lot of people be like your mama nowadays. I be playing COD and everybody talk about mama and just it's just i guess it's a thing now i just never like bringing up somebody's mother somebody's family member you know you're going too far but anyways for me personally i don't know i don't box i don't know the rules but i just don't like bringing family members in and on top of that i don't know if it's true but i heard the the irish mob the irish gang people are coming after jake paul so chill chill <sighs> who's up slow down you feel me I know the last name Paul is big. You got Paul George, you got Chris Paul, you got Cristo Paul, you feel me? That's me. That's me just in case you didn't know. We got Paul from the Bible. The last name Paul is kind of big, but don't let it get into your head. Don't let that YouTube, let that fame, let the money, let it like get into your head and end up dying in the ring or outside the ring just because you wanted a little bit more money. I guess, I don't know what he's trying to prove. He's trying to get into the boxing world and it's a smart move to do to go after the biggest man in the UFC. Uh, well, he's not the biggest right now. The um, Israel, the skinny kid is, is nice. That skinny black kid that watched Naruto, he's nice. It's a smart tactic, but be careful when you're talking shit. Be careful, man, you know? 
That's all I'm saying. Connor don't mind pulling up on him and, and knocking that nigga off illegally because his hand's considered a weapon. I don't think you do it, but yo, chill. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor? You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You a YouTuber. You're going against one of the greatest UFC fighters. And I don't really watch UFC like that, but I've seen Connor fight. I've seen a couple of his fights, and I've seen Jake Paul fight. <sighs> Let's just keep watching the video. 0-1 oh, is a boxer. I'm 2-0 and as a boxer. I just came off the 8th biggest pay-per-view event in history. But you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's a fact. That's not a fact. I feel like after he posts the video, a lot of people are going to follow the page. And most likely will have more followers. But right now, the dog is close. I think he's short 2 million followers. So he's close, you know. And then again, it's a dog. So, I mean, he's not right because you don't have more followers. But he's close. It's not a fact, though. Dana White, you're a fucking pussy too, you ugly fucking bald bitch. Could have said something else, could have said something better. His head like a penis. You're talking too much shit for you to just come up with something like that. You could have, you could have said something, could have said something. Could have said something better. You feel me? But hey, he white trying to act black, so I don't blame him. You said there's zero percent chance of this fight happening, but there's zero percent chance of you beating some fucking pussy. Connor. I don't think Dana White have any issues with pussy man but like even if he was the ugliest man alive this guy got so much money i don't think he's worrying about pussy man but hey he's talking shit feel me he talking shit so let him talk his shit dana you're scared sign the fucking contract you idiots jesus fucking christ irish bitch fuck these guys <laughs> can you imagine if he actually like never gonna happen in a million years but what if it did I think Jake Paul is gonna get a win-win. If he lose, he makes hella money. If he win, he makes hella money, and he just fought Conor. It would be if he like fight him and he doesn't even touch him. But I think I don't know. I just think it would be funny, man. I can't eat the hash brown without no sauce. It's so plain. It's crazy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Regular, everyday, normal motherfucker. I told you in the first song, I'll tell you in another. I'm just a regular.